meteorologist Peter Hall joins us now as we head into the weekend. Peter's tipped his hand a little bit, thinking that Super Bowl Sunday may be the better of the two days. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you're looking for sunshine and temperatures that are at its mildest during the weekend, Super Bowl Sunday is your day, and that's great news so that we don't have to worry about any weather systems coming through, at least here locally. First, though, as we head into the weekend right now, we're watching a system heading our way, and it's part of what's new and what's next. Let's get right to it. So even though there are mainly just sprinkles and flurries for most of us right now, the winds are going to pick up again, and we've actually got some snowflakes and some very light accumulating snow. Most of the accumulating snow comes in two quick bursts. Overall, not the biggest deal, but just be aware of that this evening. We'll go over it with Futurecast in a second. After being closer to normal, for Saturday afternoon, we will go right back above these numbers, above average again for much of the entire week next week. In fact, record warmth will be within our crosshairs once again. I say once again because believe it or not, last night when we got into the 50s, we, had, we were in the 50s from like around 9, 10 o'clock at night till about 1, 2 a.m. But that's good enough to cover two different days. And we were 56 before midnight. That goes down as the second warmest day on record for yesterday. And it was 53 at midnight. Again, second warmest on record. And records go back for temperatures back to 1903. So these are not slouch type numbers. Way above normal and almost records. Well, actual records for Wednesday and Thursday. The record high Wednesday is 64. Right now I've got 55, but we're not that far away. In fact, we might even wind up being warmer than this. The warmest low on record for Thursday is 42. I have us tying that one. And the record high for Thursday is 63. I have us pretty close to that. And I will say this, eventually a cold front will come through. But if it doesn't come through until after midnight Friday night, excuse me, Thursday night into Friday morning, we might actually flirt with a record Friday as well. But eventually we do turn colder briefly again. So right now, just some sprinkles and flurries, but there is a weather system coming through right in here on the fossil surface experts live triple Doppler radar. Just be aware one little burst of snow is possible between seven and eight o'clock. You can see at eight o'clock it's through the southern tier. Watch for quick accumulation or low visibility with that. Then some flurries behind it and a gusty wind right here. You see this secondary push of squalls around midnight or shortly thereafter again quick little burst of snow. The amount of snow is not overwhelming. Again, a total for most spots of a dusting or trace to most spots in the gray under two inches. The best chance for two inches will be in the light blue. The dark blue only shows you the four inch amounts and that's only for the Adirondacks and the Tug Hill Plateau. Otherwise, for tomorrow, early flurries and cloud cover. Clouds are going to be stubborn from south to north. Some sun, high 36. Super Bowl Sunday, essentially sunny. Morning low of 26, afternoon high 45. Sun gives way to clouds again. Look at all these numbers way above average. Valentine's Day, some sprinkles and flurries, peaks of sun 42. There's the absurd warmth, at least for Wednesday afternoon. Actually, it includes Wednesday morning too, right through Thursday or Thursday night before temperatures fall Friday. Stanley Law Skywatch. Adirondack furniture camera showing traffic moving well back inside.